A 90 Day Fiance the, was the reunion part 2 without you all. We mm -hmm. have to specifically talk about Angela oh Spaz and Michael. There is a problem here! And you are the problem! Just because you wear a crown does not make you classy or make you somebody of importance, okay? You're still a bum who continues to insult people as if they're not human beings. You have issues. The problem is not Michael, it's you and your smoker's breath, okay? At this point, I feel like Angela needs to be more aware, and the issue with her is that she lacks self-awareness. This man was in the kitchen with Lauren, and was in the kitchen with Patrick. You're in the kitchen with guys, girls, it was one girl, you psychopath. Well, she's and married And she's too. happily married to a man, and she has three kids. And Patrick is with Thais, so why, like, what is wrong with you? Actually, like, actually look in the I mirror. It's almost as though she's getting so old. Like, her, her, I don't know what happened to her skin. She's so annoying. Oh my God. You know, like, if I could roll my yeah. eyes from here to Jupiter, I would. Because mm. my thing is, like, he was having a conversation. They, he was actually coming. I'm sure Lauren felt so bad sitting in that corner <laughs> trying to see what would happen after Michael decides to go cheers his wife and go say, hey, because Lauren gave him advice. Hey, go cheers your wife and just whisper in her ear, I'm so happy to be here with you. And he goes to do that just for her to yell at him and berate him and assault him. I thought, well, I'm going to talk about the brotherhood of Kobe and um, Michael later because I thought it was so cute. Um, but I just felt like it was ridiculous that she yeah, was yeah. yelling and spazzing on him. You don't even know what's going on. Show attention to your wife. Like, I feel like you wanted him to be up under you. Like, Angela, you can't expect somebody to want to be around you when you're so uneffing pleasant. Like, yeah. wake up. Like, yeah. you are the problem here. I just felt like her yelling and going off on him and then you running up to your crippled knees trying to push this man off the balcony. Like, I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> well, What's going on? Because she jetted up that steps. Oh my goodness, gracious <laughs> me. I don't know. I, I don't feel understand. like when the daughter came and said that, you know, Michael avoids her at the house. There's no reason why. Yeah, but at the same time too, though, I mean, at the same time too, though, I think that first of all, they need some kind of mediator. Like they actually need a mediator so that he's able to express himself without her yelling at him and she is able to kind of like there has to come a point where you decide Angela if you want a relationship with your spouse and if you do want this relationship at some point you have to let go of whatever you thought happened in 2022 go for that he was cheating on you and all of that stuff you have to somewhat, and I, you can be angry about it and upset, but at some point, you guys have to get beyond it in order to let this relationship even start coming together. And he needs to, one, be able to express himself. If as soon as he opens his mouth or he breathes on you, you have a problem, <laughs> uh, then why are you guys even together? Like, yeah. what is even the point? Because you brought him here in 2024. So you already knew what had happened in 2022. So he's here now. You can't continue to be screaming at him because what happened in 2022. Because then what was the point of even bringing him here? You know, the insults cannot continue. And the screaming, the way she does it, it's in such a... Violent. It's so violent. It's so condescending. Well, all of those things. I mean, so inhumane the way she does it. And I keep on going back to if this was a man doing that to a woman, we would be calling it what it is, which is abuse. Um, so I really have a problem with the way in which she talks to him. 
Um, but Michael also is now ignoring you, and that's because of the abuse through the years. He's been he has a, reached a place where he's years. like, I am now in America. When I was in Africa, I was taking it because, you know, but now I am not taking it anymore. So Michael in the house, so he's ignoring her. Now she's feeling bad about that. And someone just needs to help her be able to express yourself without anger. Because the screaming that you're doing is not working. That's just going to go in one ear, out the other, and then you're making him feel bad about himself. And you're abusing him on top of that. So at this point, there just has to be a mediator. There's no point in you guys even trying to coexist together because it's obviously it's not working and the other thing like what kobe was saying it's like there's no calming her down even you kobe was confused what do you do brother what what do you do to, calm her, to calm her down calm her down even michael could not could not explain because he doesn't he can't calm her down so there's no calming down angela like angela does not need to be with michael michael does not need to be with a psychopath Absolutely. she needs to be by her damn self you cannot help listen i have realized this most people when they get to like 45 50 it's really there are some i wouldn't say majority but i'll say it's about 60 percent of people who mm -hmm. are at this age rarely do they change, change their yeah. ways like if you're not if you yeah. have not changed your ways for 50 something years yeah. there's you, most likely people are not they get set in their ways mm -hmm. angela strikes me as somebody who is set in her ways and she's not going to start changing and have this whole person do this new perspective like in order for somebody to change and for somebody to be their best self, they have to be the most important thing, self-aware. Yeah. She's not self-aware. No. She's blaming him. You have everybody in the world making me thinking that I'm a bi. Yeah. No, because you show yourself that you are that mm -hmm. every single day. You get on this camera and you show your face. The best thing for you is to hop off TV and to hop off TikTok with your filters that don't make you look any younger this point that's just what she needs to actually do like michael doesn't make you look bad you make yourself look bad yeah. like literally this man does not yeah. say anything all you yeah. do is yell berate him and talk back to him you would not even talk to your pet to dog you would not even oh, talk to, you wouldn't even talk to a homeless person that way like you would not even talk to like you just, just wouldn't talk inhumane. to anybody it's that just way inhumane. i can't even say and no one can people. like talk to you because you think you're right no one can even sympathize with whatever it is that you're saying that michael is doing or not doing because of how you are like no one can't hear you just like you can't hear michael no one can hear you angela right now because of all of the muck that you're displaying you know it's just too much like she needs help like at this old age, I don't think she's going to change. I'm sure she's like, well, who's going to want me? I just have a me? problem with this network continuing to show this because if the tables were turned, there would be an outcry. No, Why isn't there more of an outcry? Well, I don't want to say the obvious, but anyway, let me not No, well, one, because he's a man, and two, is it because he's black? Yeah. So there's no, like, it's not, it's not okay. It's absolutely not okay yeah. because if the tables were turning, it would be something totally different. Yeah. You know, I mean, you're standing over a woman doing that. There will be a huge outcry. Even if it was a black woman attacking a white man, I'm sure they would not even allow it to go on for as long as it's been going on. Like, if we're being no, honest. No, he doesn't even, I'm just talking about the gender thing right now. Yeah. If this was turned around, and it was a man, not have I don't care TV. what race he is, he's standing over a woman, screaming in her face like that, spitting on her. Like, that's a no-go. Yeah. Only, I mean, I, yeah, that's a no-go. Yeah. So I don't think that we should allow it. I, I think I already said this before. When she was hitting him, remember when she was tearing the car apart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was hitting him. Like, I had a problem with that as well. Like, this is abuse and it's not okay. It just isn't okay. Yeah. Like, you know? Like, I will hate to see that happening to put your brother on there or your dad on that. You wouldn't even want there to see that happen to a relative, period. Yeah. You know? So, it's not okay. Yeah, y'all. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.